everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my Artsy Endeavors. Have fun. Hey everybody, Cindy Utter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing? We know what this is, right? This is my year 2017, and today I am going to do the setup for my May pages. Now, um, this was, I think, let's see, this was March. We did that. And then we have April. Now, I didn't do a whole lot on my calendar in April, which is, it's all good because actually what I ended up doing in April is pretty much taking three weeks off. I went to North Carolina on the 12th and I come back on May 1st. And let me tell you, that was a brief period of, I can't say no art because I did do a little bit of art, but just not a whole lot of art. And I needed it. it. It really recharged me and I have so many ideas of things that I wanna do. Here's my pocket. But anyways, this was April and it was crayons and I used these doodles from Amy Shocker. I just love them. Um, and we used the Tyvek flowers, that kind of thing. So now we are on to May. Now, um, when I put this um, composition notebook together, I did go through with a whole bunch of papers just here and there. I was having fun playing with the brayer. So we've got blue and yellow on this. Now, before we get, let me see, I've got to get my calendar. Uh, this one should be May. Oh, we just look at that, and it fits! Yay! All right. Um, before we get put, actually put the page together, what I do want to do, because our prompt is um, spring, think spring, and tip it in. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of flower stamps here that I want to use. So let's grab. I've got so much stuff on this desk. Like I said, my my creativity has been going crazy. So let me get our ink pad. I'm going to need a couple of these. Sorry, guys. I didn't have all this crap out. All right. So we've got my ink pad. We've got my pages. And here's some stamps. Now, um, I honestly don't know whose stamps these are because unfortunately when I first started doing this um, I took everything out of its packaging and repackaged it differently and so I apologize to anybody that's looking to know um, you know who these stamps belong to I don't know let me see if I can bring in a little bit all right so I'm just using plain old archival ink um, we're gonna get our stamp inked up and then I'm just going to start throwing down flowers. Now, if they're not perfect, I don't care. Because, no, first of all, no flower is perfect. And second of all, no human is perfect. And let's see. Hang on just a second. All right, sorry about that. I had to fix an issue. Okay, so i got three of these. And I'm just going to use this to reuse any of the ink I've got on here, just to clean it off. All right. Where'd it go? Where did you go? Right here in front of me. Okay. So let's see what other flowers we're going to put on. I like these. Love these with the little designs in them. Those are cool. Yeah, now you know, hindsight being 2020, I, I kind of wish I hadn't have done this and taken them all apart like I did. But there's nothing I can do about it now, right? You live and learn. So I am just going to just keep throwing down flowers until I think I'm good. And like I said, I don't mind if they are not um, perfect because we're just, we're gonna we're gonna play with them. Of course, we're gonna play with them. We have to play with them. All right. 
And again, I'm just going to use this. This is just an old piece of um, watercolor paper that I found with a couple lines on it. I don't even know where I just, I just picked it up from somewhere in here. Do, 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 do. So what do you guys think so far about the, uh, our May, you know, our, two th uh, my year 2017? How do you like it? Let us know. Um, Gina had put up the poll, and I hope you guys responded as to what, you know, your concerns or thoughts or wishes were. I don't want that one. I want these. So I hope you guys, you know, responded to the poll because we'd like to know. You know, I know we're throwing, sometimes we're throwing a lot of stuff at you, but we're just, we are having so much fun, we just want to share it. So we're hoping you guys enjoy it. And I, I have to tell you, I really love playing in this composition book because it's not, it's just fun to have the freedom to know that, you know, it's not a big, huge journal. It's not, you know, an expensive journal. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just really enjoying the whole aspect of that. Just cleaning off my stamp again. Let's put, where's the other one I just had? Right here. Put a couple of these down. Yay, isn't this fun? <laughs> I'm having fun. So this is my thinking spring. When I think about spring, the biggest thing I think about is flowers. And I just, I have to thank my sister. Um, she has been my gardener for the past five years. Uh, I used to love to go out and play around in my flower beds and, you know, just play in the dirt and plant things and move things and grow things. And ever since the injury, um, I just can't do that. It's just not possible for me to do. So, my God bless my sister. She's been coming up and taking care of my flower beds for me and doing a phenomenal job. So now I can at least walk outside and see my flowers and just have fun with them, which is amazing. So, it's just, they're beautiful. All right. So, I've got a bunch of flowers on my page. Oops, let's put it away instead of throwing it up there, Cindy. I was going to use these flowers. They're really pretty. I haven't used them yet. found them on clearance somewhere. Um, probably Michael's. And I didn't use them. I used the ones out of here instead. It's all good. All right. Now, I have a new... Uh, product that I want to use and it is the Dean Wakely Scribble Sticks. Before I do that though, I am going to put down my May page. I think I might end up covering that one up. I don't want to do it different. I don't like those so much. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? I like it here better, honestly. So guess what? It's going to go there. Right, let's cut it first so that some of the stuff is off it. So like I was saying, you know, my sister has been a blessing to me with my flower gardens. And um, I just, I'm really happy that I can go out and see all the beautiful flowers that she has taken care of for me. So we're going to tape this down. So what is your favorite part about spring? Is it the flowers? Is it 
you know, the renewed growth of things. What is it? What is your favorite part about spring? Mine is the snow goes away. <laughs> I'm so glad when it's gone. Urgh. I'm not, I'm getting, as, the older I get, the more I hate the cold weather. It's just not fun. And besides that, my back doesn't like it, so, um, yeah. So, I know here in um, upstate New York, one of the first signs of spring that we look for are robins. Um, when the robins show up, we know that um, spring is coming. So, it's one thing we always look for. The first day of seeing a robin is exciting. Like, yay, they're back! Winter is going to leave us, finally! And then we'll have a snowstorm. A big old blizzard. It happens. Come on, you. Come on, come on. Alright, we won't play with that side. We'll play with this side. Okay, for some reason this isn't working today. Oy, oy, oy. Let's try to... Mm, fingernails work today. That's surprising. Alright. So we are going to put May. It's already grabbing. No! There's May. Yay! This month is busy, 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 busy. Between birthdays and doctor's appointments and art videos and you name it, it's crazy busy. It's all good. Okay. So I have these, like I said, I have these Dina Wakely um, scribble sticks. I have not used them yet, so this is going to be the first. And what am I looking for? I want to see how they water. But first we're going to color them. Okay. That's got to go. Now let's see how they work. Now, what I'm going to do, I am actually going to put you guys on fast forward just so that you don't have to sit here and watch me color because I want to color these pages um, with these scribble sticks and see how they work. I'm going to activate them with water. Um, they are, they do have the ability to either just be a crayon or um, activate with water and I'm going to activate them because I want to see what they look like. Let me just do this one real quick to show you guys. I'll do yellow in the middle. And let's see what they look like. Alright. Now this is just clear water, nothing, nothing more. Plain old water. Hmm. They're a very um, soft color. At least the layers that I put on are. Um, I wonder, you know, I may end up trying to do more layers and see if we can um, make them stronger, which I'm sure we can, but I like them. These are nice. I like the colors. They're pretty. Look at that yellow. That yellow is really bright and pretty. Alright, see it? 
It's really cool. All right, so I am going to go ahead and play around with these flowers some more and my Dina Wakely scribble sticks, and we will be back.
All right, so um, I did some playing with the, the um, Dina Wakely scribble sticks. Very, very cool. Um, I love playing with them. I love the colors. The colors are really pretty. Uh, so now I'm just going to grab my trusty little Sharpie. And I just want to highlight some of the lines that um, kind of got disturbed when I was doing the stamping. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I will be back. Okay, guys. <clears throat> Pardon me. So I went ahead and played around with my Sharpie. And one of the things I wanted to find out is if my Sharpie would write on these um, Diane, uh, Dina Wakely um, scribble sticks. And as long as it is completely dry, yes, they will. Um, when they're wet, of course, no, they won't. So if you do happen to get some of these, um, and like I said, I'm just this is the first time I'm trying them out. I just got them recently. Um, if you're going to get some, they're, they're fantastic. I love the colors. I love what they do. Um, and you can write over top of them as long as, as they are, um, as long as it's dry. So we've pretty much put our make page together. And now we're going to work on this next page. Now the problem I have is... I've got this envelope in here, which may or may not let me take it off. I'm going to try because, of course, you know I have to stick everything down. I want to take this envelope off because I've got something I want to share with you. Yay! It's coming off. It's coming off. Maybe, maybe. Uh, close enough. Alright, so that is just tape, which we're going to take that off there. Alright, now this page actually has glitter on it. Normally I love glitter, but for the next thing that I want to show to you, um, the glitter is not going to work. So we're going to have to gesso over this page. Alright, and the other thing we need to do is we work need to work on our tippet ends. So for now what I'm going to do is, this is your main video to get things started. And we're going to do some more videos. I'm going to show you how I'm going to work on this page and an idea that I have for you. And um, we're going to keep on going. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'll look for more tomorrow on my channel. And I will put the links below in the comments. If you have any questions, please let me know. As always, have fun. That's what life's all about. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!